Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse the video game. In the last episode, depending on whether or not you watched the commentary free version of Spite, we either beat the uh, we either beat Ultimate Playground or Ultimate Spite. Both were games that went pretty well. And in this episode, we are going to fight Ultimate Chairman. Let's have a reminder of what he does. For his advanced condition at the start of the villain turn, if there are any underbosses in the villain trash, the chairman flips. This is good. This is good. The problem with that is on his other side, X on this card equals H, where X is going to be the amount of damage that he's boosted by. So he's going to flip quickly, and then he's going to start dealing damage very quickly as well, just a pure damage race. And his challenge condition means he's going to be gaining HP, so that damage race is going to be longer, and we are going to have to last. I am going to break out one of the expansions we haven't seen. We're going to be taking out Vengeance. I'm only going to be using an environment and a hero here. And I'm doing this because this is a really tough fight and I just didn't feel like I had enough firepower with only what I was using so far. So we're going to use Legacy, Ra, a friend we haven't met yet, Knife, and another friend we briefly met for, I think, Cosmic Omnitron maybe, the Naturalist. The point of this team is lots and lots of HP and lots and lots of damage. We're gonna be fighting at Freedom Tower. If you watch my ultimate games, then you've seen this place before. It's an environment that either gets out of the way or helps us. Is this team a little bit overkill for the chairman? Maybe a little bit, but you know what? I want to have a good experience against the chairman for our last game. Starting out with a deputy. And the fence. Well, the fence is all right, turn one. Okay. Thief can't steal anything yet. Alright, we don't like the deputy, but we'll deal with it. We need to get rid of the thief, and by extension we need to get rid of the fence. I'm not going to explain Knife and the Naturalist, because that's not really the point. All you need to know about them here is that they deal lots of damage. And I really like both of them. Knife is not considered to be one of the better heroes necessarily, but I'm comfortable with her. She does a good job with damage. Naturalist is one of my personal favorites. Okay, let's get rid of the thief. Should we get rid of the fence? What do we have in hand? What can we do here? One melee damage and one energy damage two energy damage, which is going to be three. Hmm. That... No, that's the start of the turn. I'm just trying to figure out if we can get rid of the, uh, the fence. I think we're going to have to try. Let's hit the fence. That crooked cop is unfortunately causing some problems here, but we need the thief gone more than anything else. This is two melee damage and two energy damage, so let's do that. Just so you know, Knife's thing is she has stuff, she has uh, equipment and it does damage and lets her draw cards and do all sorts of stuff like that. You are also damaged, one melee damage and one energy. That'll do. Get rid of that. Knife can take some damage. She also has a lot of HP, which is the point. Alright, so the Crooked Cop is down to a range where... Well, the Naturalist might not be able to take it out. The Naturalist does a huge amount of damage. He does take a turn to set up, though. Uh, is there anything I can do now? Not particularly. Not that eh, I might as well play that. I'm going to put him into his gator form, which is his damage dealing form. Not going to explain it too much, but he shapeshifts. He has a form based on healing, a, a form based on defense, and a form based on uh, damage. Ooh, getting that thief out of the trash. That's nice. This card takes things out of the trash and puts it on top of decks. All right, we flipped. It's time to go. Here comes the contract. And the Muscle. Getting all of his underbosses out. Ugh. The Muscle I think I'm just going to ignore, quite frankly. 
the contract, I would like to be not here. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. Oh my god. Alright, what to do? Hit people, that's what we do. I had a pretty good test game with this team. That doesn't mean we're guaranteed to win, but we did a pretty good job. Oh, there's a second Crooked Cop out. Lovely. Inspiring Presence is nice. Ugh, I was really kind of hoping for an Inferno. I think I'm going to play Imbued Fire. Can this get rid of the Deputy? Not really. It can get rid of a Crooked Cop, though, so let's get rid of one of them. Actually, no. The deputy needs to go down more urgently. We haven't even hit the uh, the chairman yet. The deputy is one of the largest threats, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't need to destroy ongoings particularly, but that's a. Mm. Hold on. I take that back. I could uh. I could use that to hit the deputy. I need to destroy the deputy first. I have to keep that in mind. So, Naturalist should be able to take at least the deputy out and one Crooked Cop. Hopefully more? So, depending on the form he's got out, you use these symbols. Naturalist deals one target, three toxic damage. You may use a power now. Yes. I don't know if that means I don't get to use it again. If there are more non-hero targets than hero targets, that could be very good, actually. Yes. Mm. No, that's not going to be good forever. All right, I'm just going to do this, and I guess we'll find out. <laughs> All right, Deputy's going to be gone. Goodbye. And we unfortunately do need to take out those crooked cops. Goodbye. Now, do I get to use my power again? That is the question. No, I don't. All right, that's fine. I'm not planning on changing forms right now. That's good. That's damage. It's been a while since I've played either Knife or the Naturalist. I'm not quite as up to date on them. Unfortunately, that's really bad. We don't have all that much in the way of uh, environment destruction, so I think we're just going to have to deal with that. All right, we need, we need to start hitting the chairman if this is going to work. Oh! We are not doing so hot. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's game. In fact, I'm not gonna make you sit here. That's game. Let's start over, shall we? Sometimes he just draws very well. That's a nice turn one. The contract. Refer him to the deputy. All right. We're in a much better position now than we were last time. The deputy can really ruin a game. I have learned to fear that man. Okay, staff in hand. Very nice. Let's uh, let's go for the contract first, because we'd like the chairman to flip next turn. If we have to deal with the hired gun for one more turn, that's not the end of the world. Uh, that's damage reduction. Increase energy. Yep. Increase energy damage. Seems good. One target, three energy damage. Her base power is one target, two energy damage, by the way. So that, on its own, is enough to take out anything we need it to. Contract is gone. Next turn, Chairman gets to flip, and we get to get this thing started. Alright, anything here that's actually gonna matter? Um, I'm never going to play the Rhino, so let's just do that now. That's quite a bit of damage. Yeah, let's just damage the operative. We'll take the damage from the hired gun. That was a that was more damage than I wanted to waste on something like a hired gun. Alright, Gator into play. And let's see what the environment's gonna do. Wherever we're all gonna heal. <laughs> Rook City is mine. 
Could have been worse. What does this do? Reveal the top, neither discard or replace it. This looks to draw cards. All right, that's, oh, there's the broker. Ouch. Luckily, we can defeat the informant. And there's the muscle. Broker needs to die before anything else happens. We can probably make that happen. We have imbued fire right now, I think. Everything is being boosted by the chairman because he's on this side. It's all being boosted by four, which sucks. All right, we don't have imbued fire out now, but this is still going to be enough to kill what we need to kill. All right, so we got rid of the uh, the informant. The operative's damage is not being boosted. That's very important. Now we get rid of the hired gun. Then we hit the muscle. Then the chairman, who's going to hit us back for four damage. And then the operative. And now we hit the chairman again. Actually, how much damage? I'm actually just going to kill the muscle. If he gets a jailbreak, that's not going to be good, but you got to do what you got to do. He's wide open. Three melee damage seems good. And let's... Ooh, that was real good! So let me just explain what just happened. This card says knife deals one target three melee damage, discard the top of the villain deck. It just discarded a prison break. That was fantastic. Once we play the expansion that actually has knife, I'll explain some of the cool stuff you can do with her. But she can work pretty well with deck manipulation. And just do a little bit more damage here. That was a solid eight damage turn. And let's see, what do we want to do here? Uh, no. One target, two, and then another four. That seems pretty good. Mm, I think we're going to do this. So deal four, and then there's going to be another four coming for a total of eight so far. And then there's going to be another... Oh, that was not the power I meant to hit, excuse me. There's going to be another 4 damage coming. So, Naturalist just did 12 damage in one round. He can compete with Ra for damage output. He's real good. He's also fun. Let's see. Does Legacy... Legacy could use some stuff. Let's, uh... Ra's got... Well, Ra could use a Blazing Tornado. Knife's doing alright for herself. Yeah, Knife will be the one who doesn't. If we all draw, then that'll get destroyed and we can't use it anymore. That was exactly what I wanted for Legacy, by the way. That was not what I wanted for Naturalist. Ooh, that's not great. Remind me what this does. The start of the villain... Move a villain target from the villain trash into play. Bad, 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 bad. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. We have zero environment removal with this team. Uh, I kind of didn't think about that. Discard that. Don't need it. Discard that. We can't afford to be taking that kind of damage. I'll keep that. And I'm going to keep that, too. We might... Well, we're going to get him soon. Maybe not this round. Oh, jeez. Never mind. Wow. Um. Okay. That sucked. Why am I playing? Oh, be oh because I can destroy... Right, right, right. When this gets destroyed, I can play another equipment card. Okay, that could have been worse. Yikes, 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 yikes. How quickly can we just kill him? I think that's what this comes down to. Imbued fire. We're fighting through two damage reduction, an extra one from the Crooked Cop and one from the Operative. I think I'm just going to gun for him. It's an ongoing... 
When this card is destroyed, you may draw a card and play a card. Alright, let's do that. We're not in a fantastic place right now. We're not going to get him killed this round. Oof. Uh. Alright, that's damage. Is that going to hit him? It is. Very good. How much will it do to the Crooked Cop? Not enough, darn it. All right, so we're all gonna be taking some damage as well. No, that's not worth it. I wanted to run the numbers on that. So let's, uh, let's do that again, but not playing that card. That card's like a, a rampage, but sort of lesser. <laughs> Yeah, we can't afford to do that right now. I'm just gonna do that like I planned. Naturalist. How much damage can the naturalist do right now? As much as he can, I guess. Not that power. That power. Alright. I suspect we can take him out next round. The environment's gonna bring something back. Let's hope it's not something nasty. I think I want everyone to draw a card here. Okay. Okay, that's really good right now. Ugh, that's not what we wanted. That could work, actually. Oh, we get to choose! Oh, that's fantastic. Just put the enforcers in. Security station. Does that let you destroy environment cards? Yes, it does. Okay. That's good. Um, Keep that. Definitely keep that. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. Okay, it's coming down. Well, we're actually not as low as I thought. Ooh, that's not what we wanted. There goes a thief, and a crooked cop. That was really not what we wanted. Alright, this is somewhat expendable. Ugh, oh, jeez. Not good, not good. We're kind of at a standstill right now. Ugh, I guess we get rid of that. Oh, this is bad! This is real bad! All right, one step at a time. Do we have any AoE right now? This is AoE. Yes, okay. Okay, so I am just going to hit the chairman here. Just do as much as we can. He just has too many guys. All right, Scorched Earth is going to do quite a bit. Let's start by killing both of the Crooked Cops. And then we can do this in whatever order we want. Alright. Let's go. Let's hope we don't take too much damage from doing this. I would have just as soon not killed the Enforcers, but this is a hit everything. We didn't have a choice. Luckily, Knife's got a little bit of ongo- of, a. Uh, uh, damage res resistance right now, and we kind of got it for free. <laughs> Have not gotten fortitude, which would be nice. Okay, we're in a much better spot now. The deputy has to die. Goodbye. Okay, let's see what we can do with knife. One target, three energy damage. Seems good. Unfortunately, the chairman's not going to have 10 HP left, so we're not going to get to do the secondary damage, but that's okay. I think the naturalist is going to take him out. Ooh, it was a little touch and go there for a second, but we got him. Not that we've won. The operative is still around, but effectively we've won. 
Up to two targets, one toxic damage. That sounds like what we're gonna do. Bye bye. And not bye bye, but bye ow. Okay, so she's still going to be healing, but <laughs> things are not being boosted in terms of damage, and also he's not going to be dealing us damage. Wait, wait, do I not get to destroy that first? Oh, all right, where's, where are the enforcers? Put them out. Discard their hand. Ooh. I think... As much as it sucks. Mm. I think it's going to be Legacy, actually. We really, we have to get rid of that card. Has to be done. Oh, come on! Entry point. That's healing. That's doing something we like. That's not going to matter so much. I'd actually rather them stop healing. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Get rid of that. Yeah, get rid of that. I think we like that. I like that one. Keep that. And don't need that. Anything that isn't damage at this point is something that we don't need. Undivided attention. Just damage. We can deal with just damage. Oh, shoot, we took the enforcer damage because we didn't have a hand. Ugh, didn't plan on that happening. Legacy might not survive. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Summon staff, because why not? Scorched Earth. I might end up redoing this, I just want to see something. Is this going to be three or four? Four. So that would be four. Yeah, that's our biggest damage right now. This is a good environment for Scorched Earth. And Enforcers are dead. Yeah, we're gonna be just fine. Even if we do lose somebody, even if it's Legacy, we're gonna be fine. Deal some damage. And this time I think we are gonna get to see that secondary effect go off. She still has ten damage left, so we get to do some more. And more damage. That was a good turn for Knife. That's a good card. This is also a good card. Let's let you use another power. Alright. Six damage. We're probably not even going to need to use a second power. We're just going to get her anyway. And goodbye. Whew. That was a fun game. And that's the end of the chairman. For all intents and purposes, he's been destroyed. I think, canonically, he actually might die. <laughs> I, I can't recall if that's what happens. Anyway, we're done with him. We've only got one thing left, and I'm feeling a little bit more excited than I would have expected. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Sentinels of the Multiverse the Video Game, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode for one last battle against the Matriarch. Bye-bye!